This one's called Nambla. If you guys want the full reaction, early access, link in the description to the Patreon. Also, come say what's up on the Discord and the Instagram. Link in the description below. But let's get into this. Let's go! <laughs> come on down South Park and meet your friends of mine. Kenny's house? Okay, Stan, I'm gonna give you a UFO crash landing card. Dude, I don't understand this game at all. You have to decide if you deny it or cover it up. Jeez. Uh, deny it? Okay, let's see what Bill Curtis says. Many believe that the U.S. government covered it up. I'm Bill Curtis. All right, I'm gonna <laughs> give you a jail time card. You lose a turn. Well, I'm gonna give you... AIDS. AIDS? What? I just gave you AIDS. Kyle has AIDS and now loses 800 points. What kind of game is this? Thinking about having another baby. Wouldn't you like to have another brother or sister? No. We just might get working on it later tonight. <laughs> what the hell? Whoa. I guess they are Kenny's parents. But Jesus, man. There's never any need to share that information. Before it's actually even in process of happening as well. Come on, bro. Jack, your family is already on welfare and poor people are churning out babies, adding to the overpopulation, and then expecting me to pay for it with my tax dollars. You don't pay tax dollars, Cartman. You're eight. I can't even relate to you guys anymore because you're too immature. What? Oh. I've got to start hanging out with friends that are a little more intelligent. It's just that I'm up on this level up here and all my friends are down here. You don't know what you're talking about, fat ass. No, 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 no. <laughs> you guys. Yeah. 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 Screw you guys. I'm going home. That's it, Cartman. Curtis. What kind of board game is that? I all my friends. I need to meet more mature people, Cladvrog. I can meet new friends on the internet. Eesh. You're eight, my boy. Careful. Room. Men who like young boys. That's perfect. Bruh. Hi, everybody. I am a young boy. I am eight years old and would like... Big bone. Wow. Oh, look at all these guys that want to be my friend. Huh, honey. So what are you into? The usual stuff. Smiley face. What's that? Want to get together? That would be cute. Winking face. Meet me. Oh, people are so weird. I mean, some people are weird, man. I don't understand the attraction to children. I just, I can, I cannot fathom the perspective of thinking that way. I just can't. People are interestingly strange, man. That is odd. I suppose I can't fathom the mindset of a serial killer also. Or racist person. Or someone who likes children. Again, I just don't understand it. <laughs> I don't get it. At Mel's Buffet Restaurant tomorrow morning. <sighs> Sounds good, clown. Hat, curly hair, smiley face. Curly hair? Tomorrow I'm going to meet my first mature friend. Oh, goodness. Okay, maybe I'm the one who's over speculating here. This guy might actually be all right, okay? But I don't know. <laughs> Hi, are you Tony? Yeah, you're Eric? Yeah. I brought you some books on Kama Sutra. Kama Sutra? Okay. Weirdo, having older friends kicks ass. Weirdo. I've kind of matured faster than my other friends. We don't really relate anymore. And Do you like having your back rubbed? Dude. Yeah, thanks. Hold it right there. We monitored your little online chat. Now you're coming with us. Let's go. What the hell just happened? You're a victim, Cartman. You're a victim, my boy. And you didn't even know. Bob and I are going out for a few weeks, Kenny. Take care of the baby. Kenny, you have to change the baby's diaper. Oh, this is what's to come, isn't it? <laughs> yep. Come on, let's go try to get you pregnant again. All right. Oh, uh, I'll play catch with you later, son. Oh, <laughs> oh, go ahead. We can make love afterwards. All right, see if you can catch it. Bad duties Good first. Good job. Now throw me one. Oh! oh. Kenny. <laughs> What? Where are your siblings? Oh, he smacked me in the balls! Oh. <laughs> Jeez, good okay, throw, Kenny. Again. I like to... Oh, <laughs> it didn't even finish, bro. Oh, this one looks good. Hung Daddy. Bruh. Hung Daddy. Hung Daddy. I'm eight and a half inches. Damn, dude, this guy's tiny. He must be a dwarf. Sorry, midgets piss me off. Frowny. Oh, my God. <laughs> See, how about this one? I can't with this show, bro. Hammerhead? Hi there. Mr. Garrison? Ha! Huh, Eric! Oh, crap! That's cool, we can hang out. What do you want to do first? All right, scumbag, we got you. Hiya! This little boy was trying to have his way with me. We monitored your little online chat. Now you're coming with us. No! Mr. Garrison? Mr. Garrison, no! Oh, dude, I never expected that, man. Oh, my God. So he's really like that as well. I can I can never look at this guy the same again, bro. I can't. Because he knew he was a kid, bro. He knew it. There's no excuses. He knew he was eight. Oh, crap. Oh, that is treacherous, man. 
diabolical, nefarious behavior. That is crazy, man. Oh, Jesus. This has to be the work of Stan and Kyle. God, I hate those guys. Dude, you're being protected, my guy. See? I told you, dude. Old people have to hook themselves into it with a tube, and it sucks all their body fluids out. Oh, Jeez. man, that's terrible. <laughs> Why? What the hell do you guys think you're doing? Why are all my mature adult friends being mysteriously arrested, huh? We don't know. You're immature, and so you've started a government conspiracy against me. Jeez. You don't know what you're talking about, lard butt. Oh, that's so mature. You're not more mature than us, Cartman. Yes, I am! <laughs> oh, Jesus. I'm uh, telling you, this is all a terrible mistake. Well, the FBI said I have to hold you here, so that's what I'm gonna do, man. I really hope it is a mistake. Oh. But Jesus Christ. Oh. We demand you release these men at once. We are NAMBLA, the North American Man Boy Love Association, and we heard about these political prisoners you are keeping. Political what? prisoners? There's nothing wrong with it. Uh, I don't know who you are, but these men aren't going anywhere until I hear from the FBI. All these men wanted was to love a young boy. There is nothing wrong with love. <laughs> Fuck off, bro. The worst part about it is that those guys fully, truly believe that they actually have a fair point. I, that's the scariest part about it, you know? And I think it's actually slowly trying to be integrated into our society as well. So, uh, just be weary, guys. Things are getting funky out here, okay? Jeez, man. You haven't heard the last of us, officer. Together we are strong. Come on, man. They got activists for everything these days. <laughs> Trust me. I've done it, Kevin. No more will the world have to look in two different places for squirrels and provolone cheese. Who could that be? What kind of experiment is that? Sorry, Mephesto, I need help. Of course, come in. I want to hang out with older friends, but I can't find any, so I was wondering if you could genetically engineer some older friends for me. Genetic engineering has not yet evolved. Damn it, but I want to hang out with older guys. Well, I happen to be a member of an organization that can help you. It's called NAMBLA. Oh, he's Nambla? part of it? Yes, I'm sure they'd let you join. You look about right. Thanks, Dr. Mephesto. Sure. That's, that just does not sound like a good good idea, man. Just no good advice, is it? Look at these pictures. What's wrong with you guys? Ugh. Recently, the FBI has started to arrest men who are doing nothing more than trying to start a relationship with a young boy. Oh. What we need is proof that young boys want to be members of NAMBLA. We need a poster child. It is a beautiful and wonderful Eric. thing. Oh, fuck. Oh. I'd like to join your fine organization. Is that cool? Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Shit. Uh. Well, Kenny, the doctor confirmed it. I'm pregnant. Woo! Good. Don't be out too late, Kenny. We need to start moving stuff out of your room. Bruh. Now what are you gonna do? I got into Nambla and you guys didn't. They all think that I'm so mature they want me to be their new poster child, is all. It looks like I'm finally gonna have mature friends who I can relate to. Dude. Oh my god. Oh, you want morning after abortion pills? Well, they're right over there. Cool. You got money, Kenny? Get out of me, what the fuck? Feet is flush, huh? Oh my god. Uh, I'm sorry, young lady, but I can't sell that to you without permission from your parents. Oh, well, <laughs> alrighty then, cash or charge? <laughs> That's crazy. With vodka? Yeesh. Kenny, dude. Oh, well, that's very sweet of you, Kenny. Yeah. But unfortunately, now that I'm pregnant, I can't drink. Mm. What? I could still drink. <laughs> Makes me forget all about my shattered balls. What's gonna happen? What's the matter? Uh -oh. <laughs> oh, God, I'm gonna crap my pants. <laughs> oh, my balls! Ooh. <laughs> Oh, that's gross. Oh, God! <laughs> Just a few more pictures, Eric. Poster child. Is he clothes? Thanks, dude. Oh. We want to have a big dinner and dance honoring you as our new poster child. Invite all your young male friends. Oh, boy. Oh. Look at him hungry. I have some friends who want to be mature. Great. We'll get the hotel ready. Jesus Christ. Oh, bro, Eric Cartman, bro. Bro's been groomed in here and he has no idea what's going on. Ay, ay, ay. The naivete. Kenny, don't forget to clean out your room for the baby. And North Park Funland has just opened its newest ride. It's the most extreme insane ride ever built. It was fun. fun. No, people with heart conditions and expected mothers should not ride. Mom! You know, I think maybe Kenny's being a little worried about the new baby. We have to show him that he's still our little boy. Nice. 
Folks, well, please keep your hands and arms inside the John Denver and anytime during the ride of John Denver experience. Pretty realistic. What? <laughs> oh, dude. So that's John Denver in the middle, is it? Whoa! That is treacherous. Oh, jeez. Thanks for joining the John Denver experience. People are drowning, my boy. And I'm gonna be sick! Oh, my stomach! <laughs> Oh my nose! Dude, he's going through it. Ugh. He's taking all the brunt. Child, my NABLA organization is having a very important benefit in my honor. And I can invite all my mature friends, and that means I'm gonna invite everybody. Except for you guys. <laughs> we don't wanna go. You can't go. Hey Clyde, Butters, check this out. I guess we gotta try to get in that club too. <laughs> push now, push hard. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! It killed Kenny! Bad baby! Bad! <laughs> Bad baby. <Huh? laughs> That's so silly. Kenny, chill, bro. What are you doing, Kenny? Put it down. What are you going to plunge? <laughs> Kenny, what the hell are you doing? He really does not want that baby, bro. Bro's even having nightmares. <laughs> Eric. This is for mature people only. We got invited too, fat ass. Huh, well I guess nowadays they allow any old schmucks in the Nambler. Fellow Nambler members, first and foremost, I want to recognize Eric Cartman for putting us in touch with all of you pretty young boys. This is boring. Yeah. Hey, when are we gonna get to some action, huh? Oh. Ooh. Oh, goodness, what a gift <laughs> from God. First, I'd just like to hear from a couple of you on your progress. Uh, yes, Patrick. I I found a little eight-year-old named Butters. His skin is as soft as fresh linen. Jesus. Oh. That seems kind of weird. Well, my yeah. skin is springtime soft, I suppose. I may have found the dream boy of the decade. He's sexy, sassy, and sexy. full of funk. His name is Timmy. Timmy! Timmy! Well, members, I know we're all eager Bruh. to get acquainted with our new partners, so why don't we turn down the lights and start the dance? That is tr oh, that's awful, man. What is happening here? Bro, it's like, Sorry, what? I want these perverted bastards all taken in. Got it? Got it! Nambler members, as the South Park oh. representative... Oh, he's in a different Nambler. Nobody move! What's going on? North American Marlon Brando look-alike. Blood. All right, sickos, where are the children? What? No! We're the North American Marlon Brando lookalikes. Oh, damn it, I'm in the wrong place. Whoa! That other Nambla is actually in South Park. Bro, he just certified that he's actually about that life. Oh, Garrison. I. Oh, my world has just been flipped upside down. What the hell? You know of them? All of them? We've been fighting with them for years over the rights to Nambla.com. Let's go get those other Nambla bastards before they hurt any South Park children. Yeah. Yeah. yeah! It's time for us all to retire to our respective rooms and get to know our new young boys. Oh. All right. Oh. Everyone come up and grab your room keys and we'll head upstairs. <laughs> Eesh, the creepiness. It's ridiculous. Quatre, 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 huit. Ah! They actually go to witness? Let's get the hell out of here! Ah, there's more of them! Quick, hide! What the hell is that? All right, Marlon. Oh, We've got to be here somewhere. Let's try this room. Oh, oh my god. Kenny, no! Leave me alone! What the fuck are they doing there? Oh, goodness. I've seen this before. Not the actual episode, but, like, I've seen many different, like, TV shows and movies where they do this little skit with all the doors. <laughs> I think the boys went in here. Or maybe not old-timey movies. All right, you're under arrest. No, you've got the wrong Nambla again. Damn it. What are we going to do? Well, Carmen, you got everybody into this. You have to figure out a way to get everybody out. Yeah. yeah. Somebody's just going to have to go out there and, and take one for the team. Bro, relax. What kind of advice is that? It should be Butters. Huh? Hmm. You mean to expect me to go out there and let all those uh, horny old men have their way with my fragile person? Who just what team is this anyway? <laughs> oh, Butters, you're running out of time. <laughs> oh, all right then. No Butters, oh Jesus. He's such a dumbass. I'm ready to take one for the team. No Butters. Kenny, I've had enough of your shenanigans. Ooh, one of the boys just came in. Oh, I can oh, 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 What the? Oh, no, oh, wait, no, oh, oh, no, oh, 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 What? What? Wait, hold on. Just came in. I get oh, 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 oh. What the Is it talking about Mr. McCormick? Oh my days. One of the boys. He's a full on adult. I'm glad Butters. Don't. I'm not glad any of them happened to anyone. I don't like what happened to anyone. 
But I'm also glad it didn't happen to Butters. You know what I mean? But poor Mr. McCormick, man. Jesus. I just want to go home and take a, a hot bath. <laughs> We've been after you for a long time, buddy. I've learned something today. Our forefathers came to this country because they believed in an idea. An idea called freedom, where a person can live the way he chooses to live. Fuck you off. see us as being perverted because we're different from you. People are afraid of us because they don't understand. We believe in equality for everybody and tolerance and all that gay stuff, but dude, fuck you. <laughs> all right, that's enough. You're all going to be put away for a long time. Yeah. Well, oh. well, what? All right, all right. I'm sorry I almost got you guys all raped. There. I guess you guys will blossom into maturity someday. Just don't take too long. <laughs> oh, God, okay, okay, let's roll. Okay, buddy. <laughs> That's how we're gonna finish that off. Oh, oh, he's so beautiful. I know it's been hard on both of us losing poor Kenny, but this new baby kind of reminds me of him. What should we name him? It's well, Kenny even though Kenny passed away, maybe we should name him, uh, Kenny. <laughs> God, this must be the 50th time this has happened. <laughs> what the fuck? Wait, so this is just what happens with Kenny. Kenny just... Wait, maybe in the earlier seasons or something, he would just die and get reborn? Or was it just like a one-off episode? <laughs> what the fuck? So he pretty much goes quick. He grows quicker than all the other kids if he's able to catch up to the fourth grade every single time. With uh, Stan, Carl, and Cartman are. What the hell? But yo, what an episode, man. I think this is the first one. No, I've seen another one where they touched on... Uh, uh, grown men that like children. There's never any justification for that. The only tricky slope, perhaps, which I don't think is actually an explanation or anything that justifies such action, is what the man mentioned in saying that we're born this way and if you can't uh, accept us, then that's on you. And it's like, okay, but still it's not okay, bro. You must contain those type of feelings that you might be having because ah, uh, even thinking about it is just oh man it's not it's not something you want to think about dude yeah that that frame of mind of thinking is just unacceptable and i love at the end that they just illustrated they're basically like dude you like kids my guy there's nothing you can say for us to hear what you're saying g you like children you're weird Get out of here, go to jail. Simple as that. And anyone who tries to justify that, you're going to hell, bro. And I hope you stay there forever, <laughs> okay? Okay, you hear me? Look at my face, look at my eyes. I'm looking at you, I'm looking at your face, bro. You're going to hell, okay? <laughs> Ugh, strange, but yeah, I still really did enjoy the episode. Uh, Mr. Garrison, it wasn't a fluke. There wasn't like, we're joking. You're not a pedophile. He's dead ass a pedophile, dude. He is dead ass. Like, he's about that life. And I just can't look at him the same ever again. This is crazy. This is crazy. Wow. I wonder if they touch on that in other episodes as well. Because it'll be interesting to see how that develops if he did in any way. But yeah, still enjoyed the episode. I love the fact that South Park can touch on so many different subjects and still come out with a more... The thing with South Park, they have a very balanced perspective of seeing these sensitive situations and their perspective, I would say 99% of the time, I agree with, you know? I don't know if there's actually been a time where I'm like, oh, I didn't learn something from that. Probably 100%. There could be others I forgot about, but they've got an amazing track record and it's no surprise that South Park is as popular as it is and is influential because the guys behind it are geniuses simple as that but with that being said i really enjoyed it i hope you did too if you did consider liking subbing and i'll see you in the next one take it easy and peace